Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing good. Today we are going to look at Arnold AI light blocker, which is one of the cool technique that I used for a back signal scene for one of my personal project a long back. So I'm going to explain you guys how this can be done with a simple scene. Let's start with an AI Arnold area light. Once I get the Arnold light, I will just increase its overall size, then select its attribute. Under that, I'm going to change the light shape to disk so that it will give me a circular light. After this, I will select the light and rotate it in a 180 degree manner so that it will face down the grid where I'll be placing a ground for that I'm using a plane here I don't need the width and height subdivision so I'll change that to 1 now I'll select the light again and just check how it looks in the or not render view currently doesn't show anything so i'm going to increase its intensity and its exposure as well exposure is too bright i will change to 5 and here you can see an option called spread which adjusts the overall spread of the light it is very handy to control the light spread for safety, I will increase the plane size so that my light be covering most of the ground area. I am creating a new camera from which my scene is going to get rendered. I will change my render view camera to the camera which I created now. And now I am going to further refine my camera view so that it looks nice on the render. So once I am happy with my camera, I will be going to render setting. The under Arnold render, under environment, I am going to choose create a atmospheric volume in order to create a foggy effect to my scene. So you can go to the attribute editor of that AI atmospheric volume. Currently I don't need this, I close it. And you can increase the density and see how the fog kind of effect is reflected on the render view I'm going to keep it around 0.017 for this scene and I'm adjusting my light again so that it won't be directly visible in my render viewport and I'm going to reduce my spread size even more so that I get the clear circle shape on my ground Again, I'll go back to the atmospheric volume where I'll be playing around attenuation and anisotrophy value to make the atmospheric volume to behave in the correct manner for my scene. Now, at this point, we are going to add a light blocker to our scene. For this, we need to set the area light. Under that, you can find light filters. So you need to add light blocker. Once you add it, you just need to double click that and you get a new attribute column. There you can find a shader attribute where you can put a alpha image, which is a black and white image in this case. As the name suggests, it blocks the light. So whichever part of your image is in white, it gets blocked and whatever part of your image is black, the light will get leaked. In order to demonstrate it, I'm going to use a 1K resolution image of my name as an example. Now if you look at the render view, it doesn't show anything. For this we need to adjust few settings. Let's go to the perspective view and there you can see the AI light blocker box at the center just click it there's an option called density we need to increase it 
in order to show a light blocker and it seems like still it is having some issue even if we increase the height and width it doesn't make any change so there is an option called axis you need to select the right axis where your light blocker to reflect so now you see the z axis looks fine you can see along with my name there are some other names that are tiled over my image for this we need to uncheck the wrap u and wrap v so that we can see only one image otherwise it's just repeating again and again in both u and v axis so now i got only one image plane to my light now once again i will go back to the a area light shape and adjust its spread value so that i won't get that extra white border around the light so point one looks fine for me now now i'll go back to my camera shape and it looks like i need to change my camera position now it seems good and i'm going to change the resolution of my render size as 1k and i'm further adjusting my camera in order to frame my subject clearly now i want to invert the color so currently you can see my name is littered up and the background is black for that you need to go back to the ai light blocker under shader you can see the file under there there's an option called effect you just need to invert so in the sample you can see how it's getting the black and white is inverted and now if you press the render button you will get the inverted version of the scene now there's an option to change your atmospheric volume color so i'm just going back to the render setting and choosing the atmospheric volume under the color option change your color to whatever feel you want to give but as you can see only the atmospheric volume color has been changed and the ground still looks white for that what you can do is you can go to the area light and change its overall color so that both the atmospheric volume and the ground plane look similar now i am once again going back to the atmospheric volume settings there is an option for us to add a noise for that you need to click the color and go to the r node and type in ai noise you can find this and choose it and this will give you a more dramatic noise to your scene and you can adjust its settings like octaves distortion in order to get the right feel that you are looking for so this is one way of using a light blocker in order to create an awesome effect to your scene so with this same preset what you can do is you can choose any other images which has black and white to it so for this case i'm using my bat signal logo once you replace that file you can see the final result already so this is how you can use a light blocker in a creative manner to make your scene more dramatic thank you for watching guys check out my channel for more upcoming videos and also follow my instagram page for more updates have a good day